For me, I find art very therapeutic. Um, I, I, I think it does enhance the home in, in more ways than one. Um, most of our customers here uh, usually come here and look for paintings to, to match uh, the environment in their office or their home or their rooms and so forth. They would probably try to match the colours, the mood, uh, the furnishing, the style of furnishing, the design of the house. You, you probably want to have something a bit modern for a modern house, something more contemporary for a very contemporary house or if you like the classic classics, maybe something floral would go with that. So ultimately it's the taste of, of the house, um, the owner of, of the home. In my living room, I, 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 I wanted something very calm. Uh, it, it's, uh, my home was semi-classic, yet a little modern in some parts. So in the living room, uh, we've got a, a leather cream sofa, a uh, rather spacious living room, and we thought something blue and big would be nice. So we've got a nice abstract piece by Yusuf Ghani, and that sits on the wall as the main piece in the living room. We've managed to find different spaces in the house we could hang a painting because we, we like, we quite enjoy art. And we've, we thought the space under the stairway typically will be left empty by most people. You know, so we thought let's have something to brighten up the area. So we've got a nice uh, Khalil Ibrahim work. Uh, we've placed a rather big one too under the stairway. So it, I think it goes with the area and it really brightens up the area. Because we haven't got light under the stairway. So that now brings up you know, that wall quite well. For me, it was personal preference. And I chose the colours to blend the furnishing, uh, the floors. Um, and very often with paintings, I only hang up the pieces I like. This piece originally came in a very small frame. It's a very important piece, it's by Latif Mohidin. And the only way to bring it out, to let people know it's an important work, was to make it uh, look a bit dramatic with the framing. So this framing we've chosen for this makes it look a bit, a bit over the top, dramatic, but at least when someone passes this area in the house, they would know that it has to be an important work and they would give it a second look. Framing. Talking about framing is quite is rather interesting. Some of them like very simple frames, just wooden frames so they can just enjoy the painting and nothing comes in the way of the painting. And I try to get a colour which enhances the painting, which complements it, uh, then working against it. You also don't want a frame that's too striking, that it takes away the attention of the work. Uh, we've got some examples here, if you look at the one behind you. Um, we've got a painting by Jehan Sukman Toro and we thought it was green and had nice skies on top, night skies, eh? quite dark and the boats were the main subject and how do we bring this all out? So we decided to put uh, a silk lining which is black and a dark brown frame and I think it does bring out the painting quite well. Looking at this painting, it would go with any home. I mean the way it's framed, it could go with a modern home. A very simple model home, simplicity style. Uh, it can also go with a home which is uh, um, in, in classic furnishing because the framing is, is kind of in between. So you can still get those very classic looking works or modern works um, or early works. Though it doesn't seem right for a modern home, but you could frame it in such a way to complement uh, the unit. Colour schemes with paintings, it goes with the mood, I guess, you want to set in the area. So I've got friends who have gotten beautiful pieces of, of the more, uh, uh, sunrise in the living room, something bright and cheerful. Um, so again, colours do play an important uh, role for the areas in the, of the house you want to decorate with paintings. I think very often for studies, in studies they usually have a bit darker, darker works. Some people like it, you know. It's a quiet area and you want to spend time alone and they don't mind having some dark, darker artworks. It doesn't have to be dark, dark per se, but uh, slightly, you know, uh, darker pieces in, in those areas. I think typically even in, in, in uh, dining rooms, you want to have some still life maybe, some, some photos of fruits or some nice scenes, uh, maybe to complement the area here. Yeah. Uh, we spoke early, earlier about blending colours with the house. You see for the outside of the house because you're walking in. So from a distance we wanted something to be here that's, that's going to blend in and yet uh, look quite decorative at the same time. And talking about art earlier, this is, a, it's more for decorative purpose outdoor and it blends in with the area we felt, we chose this. But yet at the same time it's a popular name. A name that you know I wouldn't mind keeping for some years to come. So we've got this on the outside of the house. For those who are getting interior decorators to, to get involved in decorating their homes, 
and they're also looking at the same time for art as, as a form of investment, in a two-in-one thing. What they can do then is maybe tell the ID, uh, the interior designers, to, to look at, at the names they, they are looking at buying. For example, if they like a particular artist, works by Khalil Ibrahim or Said Jamal, or it could be even um, anyone at all, Shafa Fatima, um, or even um, Batek works. All they have to do is list up those names and also maybe some images of those works to their ID uh, people and they can then see whether they could find anything from those names for their homes. By doing so then, they're buying something they like at the same time. It's approved by their ID people, you know, to blend in with their homes, uh, what they have in their homes. And at the same time, it's a form of investment as well.